Hey all, it's Ordinary Hero here, back with another Sims 4 video. So today, guys, I decided to build a plumbob-shaped house in The Sims 4. It was so much harder than I had previously imagined, but the shell wasn't that bad. I was going to try a roof on it and then realized, you know what, that's just not going to work. We don't have angular roofs like that in The Sims 4. So I just went with what I had. This was not easy to do. Um, I, I end up moving the house back from where it was, but I started with the porch. And let me just say, the porch was super hard and I end up getting rid of all of it. I spend so much time trying to get the porch to work and you know make it a shape that looks good. And I end up removing the whole porch in exchange for a much smaller porch that I was much more satisfied with. So yeah, I do end up getting rid of this entire porch, but the rest of the house pretty much stays the same. Um, if you want to find this build on the gallery, my origin ID is Ordinary Hero YT, um, in case you were wondering, because I will have this build posted to the gallery. Uh, but anyway, I started by picking out a door. I went with this Seasons door. I thought it looked really cute. And I was going to use the Seasons windows. I love the Seasons windows because they all match. But I instead decided to go for more of a modern vibe and use these floor to ceiling windows which I thought still looked really pretty. And they fit what I wanted from this house, which was just a modern kind of bougie house. So here I end up using these base game counters that I don't think I'd ever used before. Uh, I end up putting the island ones in first and then realizing that, you know, the island ones are not the white ones to start with. But anyway, here I'm just getting the kitchen started and it was, actually my favorite part of the build uh, because I liked being able to use the really pretty looking expensive sinks and countertops and all of that because I normally don't end up using the really expensive stove and that really expensive fridge but I thought you know today's the day I'm gonna do it and so I did and it was really fun because they look so pretty but yeah, here I'm just getting the kitchen set up nice and neat. I do think I forgot to put a trash can in this. And a computer. I remember from trying to previously record this voiceover, I have forgotten a computer in this house and there is no trash can. However, you can stick a computer on the island. It does slot there. And the trash can can't be that hard to put in. But yeah, I, I forgot both of them. So this bathroom and both of the bathrooms in this house really gave me so many problems I could not get the bathrooms to look right to work right but at least in this bathroom I didn't have to put a shower in um, and I don't know if it's just the packs that I have or the sims problem in general but there are no good shades for the walls on this side for diagonal walls on like there were no good curtains I ended up just sticking two right next to each other and they looked so bad but I didn't have anything else I could use, so I just went with it. Uh, this is when I realized that I hadn't put lighting anywhere in the house. And so I did that. I really like those city living lamps. I think they're really pretty. And they just add an air of like modern vibes, which I really like. Because I went for modern vibes in this whole house. Uh, so I tried adding this wall piece there, but I end up replacing that area with a a door to the backyard uh, so now I'm doing the little living room area I think I use yeah I use that love seat that's base game and the huge city living television I use a lot of city living in this build and that base game uh, coffee table I thought it looked really cute and now we're on to the master bedroom also known as a master headache this room was so hard to do because I really wanted to give them a bathtub, but I couldn't. I just could not give them a bathtub in this tiny, tiny, tiny bathroom. This bathroom was such a pain to do because I still had to find a way to put a curtain on that window because there was no way I was going to leave it out open. And I ended up having to rerun the entire bedroom because I realized that, you know, you kind of need a door to the bedroom. Uh, that was not easy. And... I love that curtains automatically snap to windows, but in this build, it was super annoying. Uh, so I decided to use the Seasons uh, curtains because they looked really pretty. And I looked around the house for anywhere else I could put them, 
but the only good locations were in the master bedroom. So that's what I did. And there I used that seasons uh, dresser next to that huge, huge city living bed. I love that bed though. It's so pretty. Uh, now is the time I realized I didn't put any doors in the entire house. And I just put this city living rug, sized it up and put it under there. I really like all the swatches on that rug. And I sized down these seasons. Uh, they are seasons nightstands. They looked really pretty. I put tile in both bathrooms and I started putting the flooring and now I started putting the wallpaper in. And I was gonna go with this one, but it looked too prison like. So I just went for, you know, natural whites, browns, grays. It was very neutral, very boring, but I thought it fit the style of the house I was going for. I put these bathrobes up because I thought they looked really cute and put that laundry hamper there. I don't put laundry hampers in enough of my houses. Like I know that the base game ones don't technically count, but no human being wouldn't have a laundry basket in their room somewhere. So I feel like I need to add those more. Uh, here I'm just adding in those get together uh, mirror and the hand towel. And I put some base game towels on the wall over here just to kind of give them a little more realistic of a house. I could not find the seasons, uh, I don't know what it's called. It's a coat rack. It's like a coat rack, but like a wall. I don't know how to call it. Uh, but I ended up putting these base game paintings in the corner because I thought they looked really cool and they fit the vibe of the house. And I used that tiny living console table to put this city living lamp. And then I tried sticking a urn pot thing underneath it. But like in order to get it sized up to the right height so it wouldn't just like hover through the ground. Oh, it was so hard. I hated that but it looked really pretty and it fit the style of the house that I was going for. So I left it there. And then I saw this huge statue and I was like, you know what? This house is boring. Let's put a statue garden in the back. Totally random, but actually it was probably one of the more fun parts of the build. Cause I got to just stick a bunch of statues in a backyard, statues that I would never use normally because like, unless I'm building a park and even then who knows when I would use them. So I just quickly shoved a bunch of different statues in there and they looked, you know, kind of good. Uh, some of it wasn't even like statues. It was just random things I'd found around the game and they looked totally fine. I think I used some city living and probably some get together in this. I don't know for sure. Uh, so if you don't have those packs, stuff won't show up. But that fountain is base game and I thought it looked so pretty and fit the vibes I was going for. So I debated adding, you know, a flower floor to the whole thing. I think I do cover the whole floor in flowers, but I later repaint that because it just didn't fit all the like concrete and metal, but a grassy floor. So I do end up putting some uh, terrain paint tiles underneath all of it, but I just put some little flowers in the whole area to make it feel a little more like a garden and a little less like just random statues in someone's backyard. Still think it's kind of weird and creepy, but eh, who cares? Uh, and here is when I finally add that terrain paint. I found this seasons thing, uh, I, you know, like a shade or something. I was like, I have to use this. It looks so modern. It fits the theme quite nicely. And I wanted to add pools kind of like the ones that they show uh, that were shown in the trailer for pools when we got pools years ago. I've seen that trailer so many times because a lot of people use it in their Sims 4 info videos and whatnot. But, oh my goodness. Finding, like, getting nice shaped floors and such is so hard to do. I, to this day, will always hate them. They look so weird. I don't think I put ladders into any of these pools. I forgot a lot of things in this build. Oh well, it looks cool. I'm built a plumb bob shaped house. The best parts of it are, are outside in the kitchen. So now it was on to the gosh dang porch. And I tried using the same porch from before, but it kept colliding with the porch in the front yard. And so I ended up like trying to like shrink it and do a bunch of different things to it. All to just use a tiny triangle as the porch to the outdoors and not actually use it. It was so 
painful trying to get something to work. Like The Sims 4 and porches. And because you're not using walls on them, it's just so hard to get it to work. I hated it. But I eventually got it to work. It took a lot of time, a lot of effort, but I got it to work. And then I just put a little door in there and put some lounge chairs out in the front of the room. And yeah, I put some stairs on the porches. And this is when I realized that I hadn't put stairs on like any of the porches at all, which was kind of sad. But yeah, I switched the foundations of the entire house because I wanted them to all be flat. I didn't like the big bumpy foundation that you get naturally. And this is when I went, you know, I don't want to decorate that huge porch. I'm just going to give them a small one. And the small one looked good. So what can I say? It worked. And with that, I think that's everything. I tried putting stuff on the roof a few times, but it just didn't work. I put flooring. Never mind, this isn't everything. I put flooring on all the patios. I ended up just using the concrete on the roof and trying that thing. I accidentally left up there for a long time, but I caught it just in time for screenshots. And here I'm putting in a lot of landscaping. The landscaping was also really fun on this house. It was so nice and easy. And after all the challenges I'd had building patios and decorating things, it was so nice to have something be easy for once. So I did it. And the landscaping was so much fun. I love doing landscaping, but usually my Sims are too broke to afford landscaping because they need things like computers and trash cans and other things that I forgot in this build. Uh, but I did put a lot of terrain paint in here, try to make it look a little more natural. And at this point, I think I finally noticed that stupid piece that I had on the roof. I switched that tree out for an elephant because I liked the elephant more. And then I put a tree in the front yard. And with that, we are coming up on the screenshots. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, as it really does help me out. And with that, folks, I'll see you next Monday.